Welcome to the third and final, for now, uh, tutorial, uh, MapTools tutorial, um, in which I'm going to explain you the last feature I implemented, the view animation. Um, view animation is basically just fluff for your game to uh, introduce a new map or an overview of an entire big map uh, in the form of an animation. Uh, and let me show. I'll first give you the, uh, the simple version. There are three uh, macros that are of importance set view animation link view animation and run view animation and I'll show you how they work um, well now actually first of all um, what it basically does is it shows you um, well let me show you that's easier if I drag um, this dragon along a certain path let's say a square like this 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 this. Uh, by the way, the waypoints, the red dots you saw here, here, and here, are created by enter the space bar. Okay. Now this token has drawn a path, uh, and I can set the view animation path. Um, first of all, I have to decide the area that you can view, and in order to do that, I use a measurement tool. Mm. And I'll. Uh, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to make certain that the map distance is 1. I'm not sure if it's distance per cell or cell in, in cells. I think it's in cells, but I might be wrong. So this is cell distance now uh, that you're going to see. Um, let's say I'm, I'm going to use this view. It's 67 by roughly 27. So let's say 70 by 30 f f to make it easy. Okay, set view animation. Just hit the button, select the um, dragon, hit the button. Um, here's everything I'm currently telling you I in one go. I, I was I didn't want to update the manual yet again, so I put everything in here. So it's it's fairly simple. You click it, you read it, and you should understand what's happening. Okay, um, I'll go through it very shortly. Pixel shift. Um, let me first show you, and then. Um, I'll explain. Um, so I said 70-30 if I recall correctly and I'm going to store the path. Okay, um, and now you will see... Oh, well, okay, that was a bad... let me try that again. Okay, let me try that again. So I said 70 by roughly 30. Um, it's the starting and the final. I put them the same for now. And I'm going to store the path. Okay, this is what it does. Um, and it does it on all clients. Let me show you this. Um, I have a player client. I happen to have a player client open. So if I run this animation, oh the way that's what the set view animation shows you what you just set. The run view animation uh, runs it. So here we go. Oh, need to select it. Run. Um, it's a bit laggy but it's because um, I've got some memory issues with things running in the background, but if I show it again, then it, yeah, it's still laggy. Anyway, I'm running two clients at the same time. If this is on another client, um, it should go smoothly uh, with the others as it's executed on the uh, on, on the remote client and not um, executed on the GM client. But now both are executed here, so that's why it's a bit slow. The uh, reason why you can't see it is because of the ownership of this token. You can see this token. Okay, that's one. Now let me explain everything. The pixel shift is how many pixels every frame um, it moves around and basically it shows you a viewport, a view area, like this. Uh, let me see, it shows you this and then it shifts uh, the map a bit, it shows you this, it shifts the map again, 
and again and again and again and again this is called a pixel shift so how many pixels are shifted before you are shown it again now this map happens to be 50 pixels per cell so so uh, it happens to be 50 pixels per cell so I put it on 50 which means that it shifts one cell at a time now let me get this again uh, I can also put it on 10 which means that it moves 10 pixels every now, you can enter a delay which means that per frame you can delay each step um, note that if uh, this is in milliseconds uh, but if I put it to one it executes a completely different macro so it the delay will be much much bigger than one millisecond if you put it on thousand so that's a second then it's a fairly safe assumption that every frame um, uh, takes a second to show the starting width well as I showed you 70 30 that's, that's the measurement of the screen I can zoom in or zoom out if I want to and I could for example zoom in to 7 and 3 um, since I stored the path previously I have this menu item uh, you sort path and token instead of the last path the last path is the path of the uh, stored in the token and that's the movement path so I'm going to use a stored path let me explain now at first he will show you the animation here we go now since I've put it 10 frames you see that it's moving the viewport and at the same time zooming in on screen again it's slow because of memory issues um, if I clean everything up this should go pretty fast and smoothly as you can see it is now zoomed into three by seven cells and started at 70 30 roughly okay um, yeah uh, sorry um, if I move this token then this line was the last path so what is stored now is the last path and what I previously did was the stored path okay let's put this in uh, full effect um, for this I'm going to use an actual map filled with uh, well, let me show you this is a Warhammer map I actually forgot who, who created it and on there are a couple of maps made by item uh, who posted them on rpg.net if you're interested um, and I'm going to show them for this um, I'm uh, going to use them for this uh, animation so same thing as, as uh, previously for some reason I'm, I'm using dragons um, to uh, to show this tutorial this is a pretty large map and it's heavy on the system so I hope this is going to work but let's uh, see if it works um, this, the view distance currently is about 15,000 cells so that's quite a zoom uh, if we want to uh, go somewhere around 60 again but okay basically the first view I want to show is this one here moving and I have to get this a little bit right it has to move about there okay set it um. can leave this one small note that you only have to set the biggest value it always tries to uh, if, I, if I put in in, in 10 here and 15,000 or 2,000 here it will try to fit in the 15,000 and the 10 well 10 obviously will work so this is seven eight thousand uh, and the fifteen thousand is this car in this case the leading so you don't have to set them both but one of them is enough okay let's see what this does this might take a while always good to keep your bar uh, the chat open um, 
the total amount of steps is a lot 2500 approximately map tool or at least it can be larger but I've set it to a maximum of 1000 or it will become insanely long which means that the step size needs to be at least 118 and I think because of the large distance we have to travel I'll put it to 150 or, or 200 so let's do that um, so let's give it 200 um, and we leave the rest the same Store path and here we go again probably goes a lot smoother uh, when there's not so much going on okay so this is uh, the first view now I'm going to do the next one this one I am going to oh well, just leave it okay let's uh, do the next one it's this one I'm going to make a path for this one as well show a little bit of the village as you can see I try to omit uh, diagonal paths and you will see why I'll do a couple here so you can have a look and feel of it oh that was stupid don't try to move it okay it has to be one path so I have to do it again Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. So, 60, 30. Uh, we start with the view, same view as we left. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, let's go with. Well, let's go with cell distance. 60, 30. 60, 30, damn it, uh, sorry, okay, let's store the path, and now we shall see it again, here we go, now you see the path that I just set out, and you see diagonal is a bit jittery, uh, you're going to emit the jitteriness by uh, not using cell distance 50 pixels but a smaller pixel shift and of course don't use diagonal lines okay so this is the next one so we continue with the third the third we're going to view out and view in to this castle so we need to start at the spot where we ended obviously and um, well this one is simple we move to here Set view animation, uh, let's say, so again, 60, 30, oh, shit, I have to do it again, 50, 0, 60, 30, final view, so we're going, we're going to zoom out, let's say, 600, 300, store path, please, okay, and that's it, and now, uh, we're going with this one, so this is and we are going to move it to there set view animation so now we go from 600 300 and we zoom back into 60 30 stop off okay and back again now we have the next token I already put them in place now we're going to have a look at the castle so let's say first we go here now let's try to keep straight lines and let's do a circle motion here by using a lot of viewpoints go back here and then find end up here okay say that this in this case we're going to use a smaller amount so 
let's say 10 might take a while again we're not going to do any zoom so we 60 30 60 30 store path okay and here we go now as I set the pixel shift to 10 it means that it's pretty slow but okay let's sit this one out And here we're going to do the turn. And stop. So, okay. Now the final one. Uh, this is number five. And as you've noticed, I'm trying to start where the last token ended. But you'll see why in a short moment. Um, this one is going to be the last path, and then I'm going to show you what Link View Animations does. Although I th think you might already know what it does. Okay, so we make another path from here, and then to let's zoom a bit in. Uh, let's say we want to end up well here. Okay, set view animation. Um, well, let's go a little bit quicker. Twenty. Uh, starting with. 60 30 and let's end with 6 3 so we're going to zoom in again okay so now we have the, all the paths now the final thing we're going to do I have a little token here eagle we're going to use that um, first of all we're going to select all the dragons one two three four five six yeah and then we're going to link the view animations and um, it will take the order of the numbering of the dragons but you can change the order if you like well in this case I've made sure that the order is correct so this is correct so the only thing you now have to do is eagle if you don't use any numbers you have to check whether these are in the correct order these are in the correct order with the correct numbers if they're not, if say let's you start with dragon five, that means then this is zero, this is one, two, three, four, etc. And okay, um, okay. So now we have a small token here, eagle, that if everything goes well, um, has the full view animation stored on it. So you select it, you run the view animation. Uh, obviously, you need to, um, you can. Uh, remove all the dragon tokens from the map they don't have to be there anymore but for now I'm going to leave them um, and if you introduce your players to a new map you can show them a short animation of the map this animation will show will be forced on every client so basically the macro will be sent to the client and then it's run um, well I think that concludes this tutorial um, if you have any questions on the forum thank you for watching and um, well enjoy the final part of this show bye